Find the general solution for the given differential equation 2y double prime plus 7y prime minus 4y equals 0. So what we need to do first is find the roots, and then with the roots we can generate the general solution. So to do so, we need to also form the auxiliary equation, in which we choose variable r, you can also do m if you want, to represent the degree of differentiation on variable y. So we can rewrite this as 2r squared, since two derivatives are being taken for y, plus 7r to the 1 power, which is just r, since there's only one derivative being taken for y, minus 4, because there are no values of r there, equals 0. Now to extract the r solutions, we have to solve this equation. Unfortunately, there is a coefficient in front of the r squared, and since it's taking form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, we have to multiply a by c, which will give us negative 8, since 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And now we have to find what multiplies to negative 8 that adds up to 7. Obviously, it is positive 8 and negative 1, since 8 times negative 1 is negative 8, and 8 minus 1 is 7. So rewriting this, we have 2r squared plus 8r, we're keeping the r since that is 7 deconstructed, minus 1r, or just minus r, minus 4 equals 0. That keeps true to this value. So now what we can do is split this in half and factor out both sides. So 2 is a common factor as well as r, such that 2r times r is 2r squared, and 2r times 4 is 8r. Following that same pattern, negative 1, and that is the only common factor here, so just be r plus 4 again. This will be negative r minus 4 equals 0. And combining the terms on the outside, we can call that 2r minus 1, and this term repeats itself r plus 4, therefore these are two solutions. So rewriting that 2r minus 1 equals 0, or r plus 4 equals 0. So 2r equals 1, divide by 2, r1, our first solution is 1 half, and this one's a little easier, we can just say r equals negative 4, r2 in this case. So now we have our two solutions for this differential equation. However, we need to put it in proper format. I'll call it y homogeneous for homogeneous solution, in which the right hand side equals 0, equals the constants c1 to include a degree of freedom, since they're technically infinite solutions, e to the 1 half, I usually choose t, that's the common one, plus c2, the second coefficient, for r2, e to the negative 4t. And that is our solution to the given differential equation. Because if r1 and r2 are not equal, then it would take format yh equals c1e to the r1t plus c2e to the r2t. And that follows this pattern. So there we have our answer. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below, and good luck.